welcome into our Winter Game On Athlete of the Week show. I'm your host, Jeff Budiman, and joining me here at Neshaminy High School to highlight some peerless performances from this past week are Renee Washington and Drew Markle. And as we always do, the three of us will make our nominees, and actually one of us will make a double nomination this week. And then when we do that, we leave it up to you, the viewers, to decide who will be the overall winner of Athlete of the Week. And before we jump into this week's nominations, we would like to congratulate last week's winner, and that would be boys basketball player Sawyer Smith from Faith Christian. All right, Renee. Well, you know what? So much for my winning ways. You take it over here with boys basketball. I know you've been dying for a win, and you oh, got one. Oh, my goodness. I was getting ready to give up on boys basketball and have a stand-in <laughs> picture because I felt like my nominees were just there you go. losing week after week. But we won. All right, well, you won, so you, <laughs> you get the first. Back. So I'm going to go with the home court, the home team, I should say, from the Chamonix, Chris Archidiacono. They had a huge win over East Stroudsburg in the first round of states. It was the first time the Chamonix has won in the state tournament since Chris's older brother, Ryan, led the Chamonix to the Sweet 16 in 2010 and 2011. They're moving on to the second round, and it's because he had a double-double. These stats are phenomenal. He went 13 from 14 from the free throw line, had 12 rebounds, 5 assists, 27 points. He was a huge factor in their win, so I'm hoping for some Villanova fans, the Shamini fans, <laughs> all, you know, I'm pulling for all the strings here. Chris hey, Archibald. That was a huge win for them. I mean, it that was, that was yes. probably at the 6A level. That might have been the upset of the weekend. Yeah, and they get to face Lower Marion, who they lost to earlier this year. I nominated Chris last year, so they get a redemption game against Lower Marion. Go. I get a redemption nominee in oh, Chris. I don't know, Renee. you got a lot, I got a lot going on here. here. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Well, oh, Jeff, I, I, I'm just kind of might be splitting my vote between the wrestling folks this week, but how do you split between two state champs? Uh, you know, Penridge's Josh Stillings, who was on our show last week, right. talking talking about going to Hershey and how much you know he's looking forward to his you know his final opportunity. Well, he made the most of yeah, it. He took care of his business. He did. Yeah. Wins 182 pound title. You know, in in Triple A, does a great job the whole tournament. You know, a lot of celebrating afterward, like it like it should be. You know, Josh, good kid, and you know gets gets that state title, the first one for Penridge since 2005. Wow. Well then, but the drought. For over Palisades, <laughs> Nathan Halbert. Um, Six a, hours before Stilling yeah, won his exactly. state title. Right, wow. in, in AA, a junior, they hadn't had a state champ since 1997. So it just tells you how hard it is. Harbert goes out 145 pounds and, and looks like a world beater. You know, and in the final, he dominated the kid he beat in the yeah. regional final the week before, beat him worse. And he truly looked like a state champ, and as a junior, I get the feeling he might be nominated a few, you know, a few more times, yeah, two more times next, next season. So Absolutely. I got, I've got two. I got Josh Dillings from Penridge, <laughs> and I got Nathan Halbert. So I got two shots, but we'll, and we'll Both see. Well deserved. Yeah, very well. I don't deserved. know. We have a homestanding boys basketball player. We've got two wrestling nominees. <laughs> How am I supposed to trump this? Uh, well, it, well, All you right. never know. Well, well, you know, the last couple of weeks swimming has been very, very good to me, as we know. Two weeks back to back. However, we have a week gap before state swim championship start. So obviously, I have to get out of the pool. And I'm going to walk over, and I'm going to head to the track, and a very familiar nominee, Doc Mennonite's Austin Kratz. What a weekend he had. Over the weekend, the senior won the 200 in state record time. He also took a third at the New Balance Indoor Nationals. Basically, that is the top indoor track meet in the country at the Armory in New York City. And oh, by the way, for all of you Eagles fans out there, in the 200, he edged the son of former Eagle standout Eric Allen at the wire wow. to win the 200. Wow. So pretty impressive. Top Absolutely. Week. Absolutely. And, yeah. It's All right. Gonna... That was a, certainly the year for the Eagles, but in that race, Austin Kratz. There you go. Oh, yeah. Good for him. Down. <laughs> Good for him. All right. That'll do it for our Athlete of the Week show. Make sure to head to our Game On homepage where you, the viewer, can help us decide who will be the overall winner of Athlete of the Week. And make sure to check out all of our around campus shows this week. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you next week.